Hi, welcome to my channel To Irrational. I'm Pranesh Sharma, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how we will be solving loan schedule questions in our examination CM1 Paper A. So first, the question: An actual student has taken out two loans, loan A, a five-year car loan for ten thousand repayable by equal monthly installment of capital and interest. in arrears with the flat rate of interest of 10.715 per annum so we have flat rate here loan b a 5 year bank loan of 15000 repayable by equal monthly installments of capital and interest in arrears with an effective annual interest of 12% for the first 20 uh, first 2 years and 10% thereafter so we have two different rate of interest here the student has a monthly disposable income of 600 to pay the loan interest after all other living expenses have been paid now the later on part is for later on so we'll read it later okay so first part we want to calculate the final disposable income surplus or deficit each month after the loan payments have been made for both loans we have to find the monthly repayment in loan a we'll we'll be using flat rate of interest formula So for loan A, you can see here I have solved it in two types: using equation editor and without using equation editor. We have our flat rate of interest formula. We get our flat uh, flat rate of interest is ten point seven one five. So our monthly repayment for loan A is this much x one. Then we have also calculated the equivalent rate of uh, interest that we will require later on as well. So here again our basic formula of loan. here i have written basic formula of loan annuity we will have to find the loan repayment for loan b as well for loan b we have two different rate of interest so here our loan b 15000 12x2 and i have two different annuities at two different rate of interest so i have written the rate of interest here and here you can see that and similarly the equation of the loan is written here without equation editor now you can see it becomes a little bit complicated if we have a complicated formula here it is very easy to visualize here it's not but you can definitely write it without equation editor as well so we get our x2 we get our x2 you see i have not written what our uh, um, you know a2 payable 12 value is or a3 payable 12 value is you do not have to write any intermediate calculation just write your equation write your final answer similarly our surplus is equals to 19.61 for the second part they say calculate the capital repaid in the first month of the third year assuming that the student carries on with the original loan arrangement so here we'll again calculate the loan outstanding and interest and capital component for the 25th payment so first for loan a we have her here loan outstanding after 2 years loan outstanding after 2 years interest component and capital component return again you do not have to show any intermediate formulas you just have to write the formulas made for these values right then for loan b we'll have to do the same thing so we have our loan outstanding formula loan outstanding formula we have our interest component capital component and we get our total repaid in 25th month for the third part we will have to read the rest of the question So they say free loans is a company which offers loan at a constant effective interest rate of for all terms between three years and ten years. After two years, the student is approached by a representative of the free loans who offers the student a ten-year loan on capital outstanding, which is repayable by equal monthly installments of capital and interest in arrears. This new loan is used to repay off original loans and will. will have repayment equal to half the original repayment so especially this is important the new loan is will have equal to half original repayment and it is going to be 10 years loan okay. 
So the third part says estimate the capital repaid in the first month of the third year assuming that the student has taken out the new loan. For this new loan we are going to calculate how much is our new repayment. That is going to be nothing but x1 plus x2 by 2. Next thing we are going to calculate is the total loan amount that would be repaid in the next 10 years. So that would be nothing but addition of those two loans. Third, we will calculate how much interest rate has been charged here. So we will calculate using our basic loan formula and we will get our interest rate. Then all we have to do is calculate the interest component and calculate the capital component. So that gives us answer for capital con component as well. So fourth, fourth part says suggest with reason a more appropriate strategy for the student. Now specifically we have to make sure that we had a surplus amount of 600 that we can use to pay off loan as soon as possible. And secondly the interest rate one of the loan had interest rate of 20% uh, the other had less I guess. The uh, the, the other had 10% whereas this became 20% so clearly we can pay off the 20% loan and leave off the 10% loan okay because that is giving us less interest rate so accordingly you will write your conclusion so in this way we can solve our loan schedule question with or without equation editor do check out similar videos I have made for other chapters as well and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.